Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna keep this brief. Today, we are working on the engine bay. So the first thing we have to do is fill those holes we cut out last time. Using these pieces we've already cut out, we just have to flap disc those down a little bit. We're gonna tack them in, fully weld them in, flap disc it so like it was never there, and then we get to the fun stuff. After we finish up that, we're gonna wire wheel only the really nasty parts that are left in here. Then we're gonna clean it out really well, and after that, we get to paint it. Let's get to it. Right, guys just wanted to give a little update so we patched in our areas and I flap this it so it actually looks decent um, it's not perfect there's still some waviness in there and the thing is this isn't a show car so no one's ever gonna care no one's really gonna ever see it and I don't care if anybody sees it so that's the most important thing did the same thing on that side and then underneath this light uh, one second and right here we have the last patch that was in the corner where the battery box was. It's actually worse than I thought, so I had to add this little piece back here. The next thing we're going to do is clean all this up. After we clean all this up, we're going to take masking tape and put seam seal around this. That way, just in case we miss something with our weld, nothing's ever going to come through there. And it's going to look good with a little masking tape. We're going to do that on that one, that one, and the back battery box. So the next thing we have to do is... Grab the vacuum, grab the air hose, and we're gonna clean all this up. So let's get to doing that. Alright guys, just a little update. I masked it off on this side and this side. That way it'd look a little bit better when we pulled it off tomorrow. Uh, that side I didn't really worry about. It's going to be fine. It's all going to get painted with Pour 15 anyway. So tomorrow I'm going to put some plastic down because we're only going to do the top of the frame rails and up in here. All that area and then on the other side, so this side of this front for now and it's gonna look good. So tomorrow, first thing, we will do that. All right, so we're back here the next day and the seam sealer is dry. I really hope so, or my hand's gonna get really nasty. And now we get to do the nice part of peeling all this off. Next, we're gonna use some of these. Scuff up the paint. All right, so I used a Scotch-Brite pad and scuffed all of that up. And I took the air hose from the compressor, sprayed it all out, got it all nice and clean. Now all we have to do is put the plastic down. Done. So the next thing we got, the fun stuff, putting the 415 in the engine bay. So hopefully when all this is done, it's gonna look great.
Guys, it came out amazing. Check it out. It is absolutely sick. I mean, you look at all this, it's self-leveling, so it does all the hard part itself. And it just came out so much better than I thought it was going to. There are a couple of places that are not hit because like this fender is still on here and there's some places under here I can't get to yet. And there's some other places like in the trans tunnel that's gonna be done too, but that's for later. Um, when we get all that stuff figured out, there's still some brake lines and things back there that we really need to get rid of, and we've got a long way to go. But this is making us one step closer. It's looking pretty good. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. We got the engine bay painted. It's awesome, it's looking so, so, so good. I'm so stoked on this. And if you haven't yet, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe down below to not miss any more content on the Z that we've got coming up, as well as future projects. And guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to comment on the videos. I read and respond to all of them, and I love getting advice about how to work on the Z, and I love hearing about what future content y'all would like to see. And tell me about the projects that you're working on, because I want to hear about them. So thanks guys for watching this episode, and I will catch y'all next time.